Let's build a book. Hey guys, I'm Marilene and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a fun exercise that I use when assembling story ideas to form an actual novel. A lot of the times as writers, ideas come to us in snippets, things that are not a true story idea on its own. And today I'm going to show you how to flesh that out so you have an actual workable story premise. So let's look at the elements of a story first. Now there are four elements. Firstly, we have the setting, vibe, or context. Now this is the time period, the place that your book will be taking place in, or it can also be a certain aesthetic that you want to go for. Now this could be something like, I want to write about ancient Rome. Then next up is character. Obviously every story needs at least one character. The major characters are, in my opinion, the most important part of any story. Then there's plot. What will actually happen in your book? What will the story be about? What are the stakes? What is the conflict? And then finally there's theme or mood. When you want your book to say something specific or teach your readers a specific lesson or make them think about a specific thing, then that is the theme. For example, on the inside, all humans are the same. But you could also have just a mood in mind. For example, you want the book to be melancholy, or you want it to be inspiring or creepy. Now, let's use those elements, assemble them, and make a story. Let's say one day you suddenly get inspiration to write a post-apocalyptic book with a despondent mood. That's all you know. Obviously that isn't a workable story idea on its own. You're not going to know what to start writing with just that. So with this you have your setting or vibe which is post-apocalyptic and you also have your mood which is despondent. So what is still missing? character and plot. Now you need to think of a plot that will convey that despondent mood and is set in this post-apocalyptic world. So let's say that a zombie virus took over the world and your characters are in a refugee camp. They were in that camp when the world went to shit and they are still in that camp. They remain uninfected but their resources are running out. So someone has to brave the outside world to go get supplies. So now you have a plot, you have a mood, you have a setting. You still need character but you know which characters you might need depending on what you've all already figured out about the book. So your main character could be a father living in the camp and he wants to go get supplies so that his family can have resources and be okay. Maybe there's they have a loyal friend that goes with them. Maybe they meet someone along the way who also isn't infected. This is obviously much closer to an actual story than what you started out with, a despondent post-apocalyptic story. And now as your imagination runs and you think about things, you can sort them into these four elements so that you can see which elements are still lacking, which you still need to develop. And this is a great way to work on your outline and get a really good story idea going from just one small idea. Let's look at some further examples. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you get the idea that you want to write a badass female detective and you want the theme of the book to be don't trust anyone. So you have character and you have theme. So you still need a setting and a plot. So which plot would allow this character to experience the lesson, don't trust anyone? Let's say she has a partner and they are investigating a series of murders. At the end, she discovers that her partner is actually the serial killer and when she confronts him, it ends up in a fight and she kills him, only to discover that he fabricated evidence to frame her for the murder. Now you're going to have to think, 
where is this going to take place? What is the vibe going to be? Do you want it to be 1920s noir? Do you want it to be a cyberpunk colony on Mars? What fits the story in your head? Then obviously you're going to need more characters, flesh out those characters, the character of the partner, does he have family, does the detective, female detective have family, is there a police chief, things like that. As you work on the story idea, you fill in the elements that look a little bare. Then one final example, maybe the only thing that pops into your mind is that you want to write a diesel punk book. That's it, that's all you know. So now you have to think, okay, I need a plot, I need character, and I need a theme or mood. Let's say you think about it and you decide you want it to be a Cinderella retelling. There you have your plot and your characters who will be representing Cinderella, Prince Charming, the stepmother, the sisters, all of that. And then you think, well, it would be pretty cool if this book had a rebellious mood. So what plot can you kind of infuse into the Cinderella story to make it about rebellion? Maybe the stepmother is the head of an evil corporation and Cinderella is going to the ball to give the prince some information, some inside information, things like that. Now obviously this is much more workable than just I want to write a diesel punk book. You've created a story by thinking about the four elements that you will need. So yeah, that is it. That is how I build a book from a very big story idea. I hope that this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want writing advice videos every single Friday, then you have to subscribe and ring that little bell. As always, you can find me on my website, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. All the links are listed below, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!